Welcome to this guide of NX Studio 1.60. This is the newest version for 2024 and it captures features for the Nikon Z8. And this is the latest version. And NX Studio, if you're not familiar with it, is uh, native to Nikon cameras and it can process Nikon RAW files. And with it being native to Nikon, it can process raw files better than Adobe Lightroom and other photo software. So if you're a beginner, this software is great for basic edits. And if you'd like to use Lightroom or some other photo editing software, you can always uh, you move your edits there to finish editing. And also this edits raw JPEG and TIFF files. Even if you're using a camera from Canon or Sony or Fuji films, you can still edit with this NX studio software. It also has a basic video editing software and I've done a previous video, but I want to do an updated video for all the new beginners with Nikon cameras and also to give Nikon professionals update and with the software as you can see you can retouch the image apply correction adjust picture controls or adjust colors you can do a lot of things with this software and so today I'm going to show you how to use Nikon NX studio and also how to transfer files from your camera or from your files in your computer so if you're going through this you can get familiar with what this actually does as i scroll and it as it says it fits in the co collaboration with a suite of other nikon software it fits with camera control pro nikon tether you can use nx studio with it also works with nx transfer 2 and when you're ready to post to social media, NX Studio offers a correct direct connection to publish to Nikon image space so you can upload them to social media. Also with these, with NX Studio, you can add your own metadata, your copyrights and other information so you can make it yours. So let's start off. If you're new to NX Studio, you just want to make sure that you have the system requirements because Nikon NX Studio can labor your computer. It can uh, deal with your resource. So let's see what my settings are. Let's see what I have here. So you need a Windows 10, which I have right here. I have a Core i7, which is the minimum. These are the minimums uh, and memory for gigabytes I have what 32 gigabytes so uh, I'm under monitors great if you're new to NX studio you want to go to the Nikon site and download NX studio 1.60 not 1.50 the new 1.60 has pixel editing software it has a pixel editing feature that's been added for the Nikon ZF and the Nikon Z8. So let's get started. Let's start at the top with the file. So with file, you just go up there, you can transfer pictures. And we did that with NX Transfer 2, where you can transfer your photos from your camera or from a card. And here we go. We have show image immediately after shooting. So if you're using your camera and you want to show your photos right after you shoot, then the NX Studio pop up. I do that with NX Tether. So you're uh, performing pixel shift merge and that is available with Nikon ZF and the Nikon Z8. It's not available with the Nikon Z9 at this time. So we'll have to wait again. And it's also not available with the Nikon Z6 II. Now, Supposedly the Nikon Z63 is rumored, so we'll wait and see if uh, the pixel shift technology is available. Next, we're going to import custom picture control, whereas if you have your own picture controls, you can import those. You can edit videos, 
you can open with or register. You can export files after you uh, edit them. You can upload files and paste, set up, and print. Next up is edit, paste, select all, des deselect, select inverse, select by file type. And what do we have here? We have raw, we have hef, we have JPEG, we have TIFF, and videos, video recordings. And as always, you can use this software, unlike some of the other editing software, to bring in tips and JPEGs from other camera makers like Canon, Sony, and Fujifilm. So that's a bonus for this NX Studio. So let's go over the next one. Browser, go up one level. You can add your favorite folders. You can change, add uh, your primary destination for all your edits. You can view it in Explorer. So here we go, view and explore, and that just takes you to this. That just takes you to Explorer, File Explorer, where you can view your files. I'm gonna exit out of that. Next, let's go to image. You can rotate the image 90 degrees. 90 degrees, another way, rotate 180. You can rate them with stars, and that's how I rate the keepers and the photos I delete because uh, you don't want to edit a bunch of photos or you can color code your photos. And here you can do protection so that way you don't accidentally delete your favorite photo because that has happened to me before where I started calling through files and I deleted the wrong one. Metadata, you can export file photo info, copy it from another file, uh, copy uh, data, import, preset copyright only you can import that and let's do adjust here you can adjust the point gray sample tool the crop tool the straighten tool color auto retouch brush tool and copy all the adjustments you can save all the adjustments and they're also available over here it's the same thing basically and view next item viewer thumbnail grid you can view photos a different way thumbnail size small medium it, it all depends on how you want to uh, call it. Display thumbnail information, show raw and JPEGs, zoom ratios, z zoom in and out. I use my mouse to do that. So you will notice me using my mouse for that. Zoom out, fit the screen. And right now I have the screen at 100%. Image information, histogram. You can sh choose to show the histogram or not to show the histogram. I like to see the histogram because I like to know how the photo turned out here you can use filters image viewer options you can show a grid you can show the focus point i always like to show the focus point because it lets me know whether the camera was in focus i might remove it later show shadows show raw images next windows just pick and choose you get to select show browser palette show favorites show histogram and finally help NX Studio help check for updates. I uh, open Nikon image space and about, and as I always tell anyone before they start one of these videos to check the version. And this is version 1.6.0. And this is the newer version for 2024 for the uh, new Nikon cameras. So as you know, if you're a beginner or if you're new to Nikon, every time Nikon releases a firmware upgrade, or releases a new camera, they update NX Studio. So that way you get the new features and you have a free program to edit them. Adobe is subscription based and the other photo editing software you can buy, but it's expensive. Some software is out onwards up to three to $400 to buy it outright. Be thankful of Nikon is giving you a free program to edit your photos. So let's come out of that. If you need any more help with uh, NX Studio, you can always go to the help site and you can view the reference manual. And this is NX Studio and, you know, and you can download the product manuals for NX Studio and NX Transfer 2 and get information on each thing about viewing pictures, filters, Enhancing pictures, custom picture controls, merge pictures taken with pixel shift, video editing, slideshows, uploading pictures to the web, 
printing, exporting pictures, and options. And you can get whatever you need and also menu list for anything not mentioned in this video. Thank you for watching and watch my other edX studio videos and my other videos on Nikon products. Thank you once again.